And never in the history of human evolution has anybody at any point put their hand up in a room full of people and said, what does that mean? <laughs> Good morning, Chester B&I. Good morning. Fantastic. What a lovely audience. You are all so much better than last week's. Do you know the joke in that is whenever they say that, you're all so much better than last week's, it's because it was the same audience as last week's. They record multiple episodes on the same day. So now you know. And you are the same audience as last week. You are in the gag. So what we are going to do today is we are going to play a game. No, no, no. We are going to play a game. That's better. We are going to play a game of guess the acronym or initialism. It's a game we haven't played in Chester B&I for six years. So I probably should recap on the rules. Would that be okay? Yes. Yes? Who, who said that? Who wants the rules? You always love the rules. You love the rules. Guess the acronym or initialism. As always with this game, I will explain what an acronym is, what an initialism is, and what the difference is between the two. An acronym is a word made up of the first letters of other words, such as TARDIS from Doctor Who. TARDIS. Does anyone know what TARDIS means? No. No, just me. Fine. It stands for Time and Relative Dimensions in Space. TARDIS. An initialism is a series of letters made up of the first letters of other words, but they do not form a word themselves. For example, IPA. What does IPA mean? Now I've found my level. Indian Pale Ale. Thank you, Paul. So what we're going to do is I am going to give you five acronyms or initialisms. How many? Five. Five. You, you are not to shout them out. You are not to confer. You have to write these down on the sheet in front of you. What do you have to do? <laughs> write them down. Are you ready to play? Guess the acronym or initialism. Round one, your first acronym or initialism is something Neil Cole might say. It is GA4. Write down on the sheet in front of you what GA4 means. Do you all have something? Excellent. Round two, this is something that Zoe Davenport might say. It is MTD. Write down on the sheet in front of you what MTD stands for. Do you all have something? Excellent. Round three. <laughs> Round three. This is something that I might say. It is CRO. Write down on the sheet in front of you what CRO means. Do you all have something? Fantastic. Round four. This is something that Kieran Toner or Richard Hadlow Powell might say. And this is an acronym. It is SAS. Write down on the sheet in front of you what SAS means. Do you all have something? Excellent. The final round. This is something a mortgage broker might say. It is LTV. What does LTV mean? Everybody got something? Fantastic. That concludes the game of Guess the Acronym or Initialism. Would you like to know the answers? No. No. <laughs> no, don't worry. Okay, who thinks They've got all five correct. <laughs> Nobody. And that is the point of guess the acronym or initialism. If you use acronyms or initialisms that are specific to your industry, you may know what they mean. Your team may know what they mean. Your clients may even know what they mean. But your referral partners won't necessarily have a clue. So if you stand up in a BNI during a 60 seconds, during open networking, during a four minute launch pad, during a 10 minute featured presentation, or in one-to-ones, and you mention acronyms or initialisms, other people will not know what you're talking about. And never in the history of human evolution has anybody at any point put their hand up in a room full of people and said, what does that mean? Because we all assume everyone else knows what it means. And we're the only ones that don't. So when you are doing your talks, when you are having your one-to-ones, avoid 
acronyms and initialisms because if we don't know what you're talking about, there is absolutely no way we can refer you. Now, would you like the answers? I am not going to give you the answers because that is not how guess the acronym or initialism works. If you want to know what they mean, you need to have a one-to-one -one with the members that I mentioned. Thank you. You've been a fantastic audience. And I'll see you in six years' time for the next edition of Guess the Acronym or Initialism. Yes.